Hi everyone, I'm so excited to share with you my Polaroid camera custom die from AccuCut Craft Custom Shape Pros and I've been wanting to share this die with you guys so here it is. This is the Polaroid camera and I just love how it turned out. Um, you can see here it has these crease lines which gives the definition to the camera. These two pieces pop out. This is the piece where the film would normally come out of. And it measures 5 and 11 16 by 5 and 3 4. And I use those measurements because I've been into 6 by 6 paper pads lately. And it's just a perfect size. And the size of the, the actual camera is just is a really perfect size as well. Of course, I have to create the solid piece. And so it just goes right on top, like so. And then there's some additional pieces. Here we have the lens and then we have the flash that's on top and then we have the other flash that's next to the lens but it turned out really cute and then I designed two different size Polaroid films so we have the larger one and this is 3 by 3 and 11 16 so that's what that looks like we'll take it out looks like that and then of course I have to create a smaller one which is really cute. This is 2 and 2 by 7 eighths. You can see it's really cute. So they both fit perfectly onto the page. So you can see it fits nicely on the page. Or you can stagger it like that. Or you can even take two of the smaller ones and stagger it like that. Just really cute. I love it. Um, you can put design paper, you can paint it, you can stain it, emboss it, stamp it, so many things that you could do to these um, films. So let me share with you the projects um, that I created. I will have the die cuts available on my blog and some kits with the paper as well. And for those of you that purchase um, any of the kits, I will add a exclusive video tutorial on how to create to the projects that I'm going to show you. So when you check out through PayPal, um, just be sure to leave your YouTube channel on the notes and I will send you the video within 24 hours. So the first one I want to share with you is the camera. Of course I had to create a Polaroid camera and this is what I created. This was really fun to make. I used Bo Bunny's Country Garden um, collection. So let me show you the camera itself and I just love it and then it has a strap right here just turned out really cute and then I um, embellished the front and I love the rosette trim how it looked like a lens so I placed just one individual one in the center and then I used my Martha Stewart butterfly punch these are some antique papery by Colorbach die cuts I add some rosette trim and then here's the flash and then on Natalie's picture, um, I basically add the design paper onto the medium weight chipboard, wrap some of the twinery around, and then an iron roses flower. And then it, you can just display it like this. Just kind of like what I did with um, the actual Polaroid that I did of Tim Holtz and I. Or you can take one of these, and as you can see, it'll fit all the way into the camera. And that's how I designed it to fit all the way in. Um, so as you can see it fits right into the box. This one doesn't of course because I have my little flower there so it won't go inside but this was meant more to display. But it's just a cute little um, display that you can you know make for someone or for yourself and it's just really fun to make. So I made that one and then I made a card. I thought it would be really fun to give us a card and it's perfect for any occasion. So this is using Colorbox Antique Papery Collection. Did a lot of layering and it says just the two of us. So of course I wanted um, a Polaroid film to come out. So then it's a picture of Ariane and I. So it's just the two of us. And this is going to be also in that video um, tutorial. And then when you open it up it says I love you. And this is using again the 12 by 12 paper um, stack. So this was really fun to make and it creates a really cute card. And then my favorite one of course is the mini album. Mini album I use a ton of dies, a ton of punches. So I'll just share with you really quickly. I took my girls to the park and we had a picnic 
and it was really fun. I used three different collections in this one. I used Colorbox Country Garden, I used two of My Mind's Eye, which is the Howdy Judy and the Be Happy. And I just used the covers on this one, as you can see. And it's cute because when you sit up the album, you can take your photo. So let's say, um, just picture this is of all my girls, and then you would put the photo like that and display it. And obviously the album is of what the picture is right here. So you can do it that way, or you could just use um, the cover and all the solid pieces. This one I used all the covers. Um, in case I switch the pictures up, you know, let's see if I changed it up, then I could put another picture and put it back again like that. Okay, so um, that's what you can do with that. So let me show you the album really quickly. This was really fun to make. Um, I had a charm that says, Do All Things With Love, and it says, All The Things I Love About You. And you can see here again, just a ton of layering and um, this was um, really um, great to make. And then this is using the smaller Polaroid film. And I have pictures on my blog um, if you want to see a more close-up look. And it was just really um, exciting. I really enjoyed making this one. As you can see, I used a lot of die cuts and punches. and Just really fun. I love this one because all their feet is up in the air. They were jumping up and down. Just really cute. My oldest one didn't um, go. She didn't want to. She wanted to stay home with her dad. So I just had the three girls with me. Um, but they had a really great time. So you can make yourself a really cute um, Polaroid camera album. This is using the larger Polaroid film. And I have a little story on my blog. Um, I have a picture of my dad and brothers and sister and I and it was taken with a Polaroid film and it was so old that the top layer of the Polaroid film was the only piece that was saved. You can still see the picture but you see all these cracks in between the photo um, and that's what's great and this is another reason why I wanted to design this was because I can create so many pictures with these um, die cuts and I can you know layer paper and all that fun stuff on there um, because I was able to find one at the uh, local antique store but it's amazing how much the prices is for the film it's it's like for 10 just 10 films is like $60 so that's basically $6 a film so with this one I can create as many as I want um, and so that's why I designed this die and then this is a picture of the park so it was really fun and you know here's Natalie on the swing and it was a really fun day. And then here's again using the smaller Polaroids. You can see I staggered it with two of them. And Ashley's climbing the bars here. And then here's Maddie. So you can make yourself a really fun uh, mini album as well. So again, the die cuts will be available on my blog and some kits. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye.